Hello, welcome back to the e-learning portal. We are still on session three, and this is the second video of session three. In this session, we will look at enhanced liabilities when a forwarder acts as a principal. They are listed on this slide. I'm going to explain each differently. The liabilities are liability to customer, physical loss or damage to cargo, professional faults and mistakes, delay in delivery, liability to customs, liability to third parties and cost. liability to customer the liability to customers quite often relates to physical loss of or damage to cargo the majority of claims fall under this category in some cases such claims may include an element of consequential losses for example service fee or loss of profits incurred by the customer Although forwarders under standard trading conditions traditionally do not accept liability for direct, indirect, sorry, or consequential losses, it is advisable for them to provide insurance coverage to cover such. If a forwarder acts as a principal, his liability for the loss of or damage to goods occur between the time when they take them into their, their charge and the time when they deliver them to the consignee. In the normal course of events, the forwarder might be able to obtain a recovery from the responsible carrier or the subcontractor depending upon his, their contractual relationship with these persons. professional faults and mistakes. The forwarder or their employees may commit faults or mistakes, known in insurance balance as errors and omissions, which are neither deliberate nor reckless, but which cause financial loss to their customers. Some examples have been cited here, and they are just errors and omissions. One, Delivery of goods contrary to instructions. Two, omission to take cargo insurance in spite of specific insurance uh, instructions to do so. The errors during customs operation resulting in delay in customs clearance or loss to customers. Four, routing cargo to wrong destinations. Five, failure to exercise due diligence in the choice of carriers, warehousemen and other agencies that act on behalf of the principal, who is the forwarder to their customer. Six, delivery of cargo without taking the bill of lading in exchange, without transport document. Sometimes it's impossible to carry out the duties and that may cause delays. Seven, re-export of cargo without compliance with the necessary formalities for drawbacks of duty. Eight, Failure to notify the consignee when the goods arrive. Nine, delivery of goods without collecting cash from consignees when forwarders are assigned to do the collection of payments. Ten, 
delivery of goods to the wrong consignee. Now, delay in delivery. Although a freight forwarder traditionally does not commit himself to a firm date of delivery at destinations and does not accept liability for delay, the usual trend in the industry is to accept a moderate level of liability for excessive delays, limited to the amount of freight or sometimes twice the freight is paid to the customer for delays in delivery of cargo. Liability to customs. In many countries, a forwarder who is licensed for custom clearance work is accountable to the customs authorities for compliance with the customs regulations and for the declaration of the correct value, quantity, and description of the goods so that there is no loss of revenue to the state on this account. Any violation of this regulation may result in fines or penalties, etc., payable by forwarder, which may not be recoverable from the customer. Liability to third parties. The forwarder is exposed to claims from third parties such as steel door companies, port authorities, who they come into contact with when goods arrive during transportation. Such claims fall into two categories. First, the physical loss of or damage to third party property and consequential loss resulting therefrom. Two, loss of life, personal injury, or illness of a third party and consequential loss. The final liability on the enhanced liability to free forwarders when they act as principal will be other costs. In fact, there are various costs incurred by a forwarder during the process of investigating a claim. For instance, inspectors may be asked to do a job on site where accidents happen. Other professionals may be called in and the interests may be defended to mitigate the loss. Service fees are paid to other professionals and legal expenses and storage expenses may be incurred. These costs cannot, can be highly substantial in some cases. Even if the forwarder is not responsible, he may not be able to recover what he incurred from other, another party. A quick recap of enhanced liabilities when a forwarder acts as a principal. One, liability to customers, physical loss of or damage to cargo, professional faults and mistakes, delay in delivery, liability to customs, liability to third parties, and the other costs under the heading costs, which was the one, the last one.